Hello! I'm going to share with you today one of my favorite recipes. I prepare this every Sunday to, so I can have a stock for the week and it's the, my gluten-free vegan oatmeal cookie. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with mashed bananas and I've already mashed them for you. There were two and I just used the end of a fork and pounded through them until they were mushy. And to that I'm going to add about a half a cup of applesauce. Just like that. And because of the applesauce and the banana, you don't really need any sweetener like honey or maple syrup. These add just the right amount of sweetness and they also make it very fluffy and moist. Another great thing about this cookie is that you don't have to waste time in the morning making your oatmeal. You can just pick up the cookie and walk out the door. So this is the wet ingredients. That's it. Right here we have our oats. And what I did was I took uh, normal oats and I put them in the food processor and I pulsed it a few times so that it was a little bit grainier and a lot thinner, just so the cookie is not too chunky. To this I'm going to add our dry ingredients. I have some cinnamon, some sea salt, I don't want all this sea salt so I'm just going to about half of that, and our raisins. And just give it a little toss, make sure everything's evenly combined. So plop that in, and fold it together. They give me that comforting feeling that I like in the morning and also the aromas are a lot, they're much more accentuated when you warm it up. There we go. And as you can see, it's holding together really well. And make sure your hand, hands are clean because when you shape them, you can only really do it justice by using your hands. There we go. And that's it. You really can't get any easier than that. Nice and pretty. So now I'm going to fold them or put them together in little balls and put them on parchment paper and bake it in the oven. So let me show you how to do that. So now I'm going to form the cookies. What I've done here is I've taken some parchment paper and I put it on a baking dish just so it won't stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get about a small palm full of the mixture, pat it down so it looks like a cookie. I like making my sm mine small so it means I could just have more later. And you can see they stick together really well. And you didn't need any oil for that, which is the wonderful part. It's perfect for the morning. They're packed with fiber and they'll keep you full for a long time. So I just finished making all the cookies and they're about 12 here. I have some left over that I'll just spoon out and eat. And I'm just gonna pop this into the oven. For about, I would say, 15 to 18 minutes. Uh, you really wanna keep an eye on them depending on how big you've made them. And at 355 degrees Fahrenheit like that. So as you can see, they're all done. And they're pretty firm, but still soft and fluffy. But they hold their own, which is wonderful. So I'm just going to open up one for you. It's a little hot, so it's hard for me. But just like that, you can see. Nice and moist and steamy. And they smell amazing. And there you have it. Here are vegan oatmeal cookies. And I can barely wait.